So once we connect the Spring Boot application with MySQL database, so we will be writing the code to push the data into the database. So for that, let me just go into the Intelligent Log again and inside this controller. So let me just create new class. Let me call it user controller. And we just need to annotate this controller class with rest controller. So just type rest controller and just make sure to import this one as well. And inside here, so we just need to inject the user repository interface as well. So for injecting, so we will be using the auto wired annotation. And inside here, just type private user repository and just make the object user repository and for posting the data so we have the annotation post mapping so for that just type post mapping and just give the path so just give path something like slash user or you can give any path so just give the relevant path and let me just type user and new user and inside here so we will be passing the body or json body so for that we just need to use the annotation request body so just type request body and just type user and new user and we will be returning the saved data so for that just type return and just type user repository dot save so this will basically post the data and return the whichever data we have posted so just keep this to test the api so we just need to install one application which is called postman or you can use the insomnia as well so for this tutorial i will be using the postman so first let me just run this application and once this is started so let me just open the postman and once you open postman so let me just create the new collection let me call it so you can give the any name so let me just give something like fully stack application and inside here i just want to create new request so just right click and click on add request and we will be using the post so just click on post and just type http localhost 8080 slash user so since we have given the slash user as the path so just give slash user and inside this body just choose the raw and just choose the json instead of this text and inside here so we just need to give the data so since we have created the entity name username and email so we just need to pass that so just type name so you can just pass name something like arjun coach and just type username so you can just give something like Arjun and let me just give email. So just type Arjun Gautam at the rate gmail.com. And now if I just press on this send, so make sure to choose this post. And if I just click on send here, so this is returning the same data here since we have returned the same data which we have posted and the ID is auto generated since we have used the annotation at the rate generated value so now to check in database so let me just go into the mysql workbench and if i just type select star from user so user is the table name and if i just execute this command so you can see here the id1 email name and username has been successfully posted into this database so again let me just give another user so let me just give something like demo and you can give the username demo username and again just give the email demo email or you can give anything and let me just click on send so the id is generated as two and the user and username and email has been successfully sent so if i again go to the mysql workbench and again execute this command so now you should see to data inside this table. So this is how you post the data into the database using the Spring Boot.